Hello everyone, my name is David. Today we're going to be using a, a program called BombGuard to help someone over the phone to um, help them with a software issue that they're having. I think it's I think it's Microsoft Word. Um, this is actually a, a technology presentation for my CIDM 3330 class. And um, you can see these slides I've got going as well in the background. Um, so basics of using BombGuard. Um, BombGuard is a enterprise grade desktop support software which basically means it's kind of like TeamViewer if you've ever used TeamViewer before or maybe Apple Remote Desktop, except um, it's mainly built for the Windows platform, although you can use it on any operating system, um, Windows or Mac. Um, you can also uh, use it with Active Directory. It supports permission systems with Active Directory, so if you have users with enterprise level accounts like um, that are set up with email and all that stuff, they can use those permissions they already have with their with their Active Directory accounts, and not have to. They don't have to have separate accounts just for BombGuard, which is nice. Um, all the encryption, all the um, connections that you're going to make with BombGuard are completely encrypted. Um, it's SSL, you know, file level encryption. Um, so everything is encrypted. Everything is secure. That's good. And also, it's cloud based. Um, so I'm actually at home right now, as you can tell. And um, I'm going to be using BombGuard while I'm at home. You can use it from if if you set it up the way if you set it up this way, you can use it from anywhere as long as you have internet access. Um, let's see here. It also it lets you if you have other um, support members online at the same time, you can use. There's a little chat box that you can use to easily talk between people without having to make phone calls. Um, and it really and it also lets you transfer sessions between people really easily, um, which is nice. It's a really good feature, especially if you're having to elevate issues to like the next level up um, if you have you know multiple levels of support kind of like we do at my office um, all right well let's go ahead and get started so we've got Jennifer she's gonna be calling me here in a second she's got an issue going on um, it should be fairly fairly simple what's going on IT service center this is David how can I help you hello I am having trouble opening or not opening um editing a word document okay alrighty um, are you a student or a instructor I'm an instructor okay alrighty let me go ahead and help you out then um, hold on one second let me get let me get logged into Bomgar are you located here in Canyon Okay, okay. Yeah, this should just take a second. What we're going to do is I'm going to start a remote session with you. If you could um, go over to a website for me. Okay. Let's go, go ahead and go over to buffhelp.wtamu.edu. All right. Do you see my name, uh, 22 Lister David, listed there? Yes. Okay. If you could go ahead and click on that link, that's going to download a piece of uh, a small piece of support software that'll um, it's actually going to remove itself when we're done here. So with this Word document, um, when did you create it? Like, uh, do you know exactly what it is? It's a document that I'm trying to upload to WT class. Oh, okay. Okay. Probably like an assignment or something for students. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and accept your session here. Um, you're going to get a prompt on your screen that's going to request for me to re remotely view and be able to control your mouse and everything. Um, basically, if you're okay with this, just hit allow for me. Um, if at any point you want me to disconnect, you can just hit this big red, big red X right there for me, okay? Okay. All right, so I see um, we're connected now. Where uh, Where's this document located? It's on the desktop. Okay. So if we go... That one right in the middle. This one right here? Okay. Let's try and open this up and see what happens. I notice it's opening in read-only mode. Has it, has it done that before? Has it just started doing that? Yeah. Yeah. So I see it's just, it's just marked as read-only right here. See if it lets you make changes okay. to it. Oh, awesome. Yes. Cool. It looks like it's working for you then. Um, let's see. So hopefully you don't have any other issues uploading this to WT class. Um, is there anything else I can do to help you? No, that's all. That's it. 
Okay. Well, if you have any other issues, um, you've got my number. Just give me a call back, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect, and that, that software is going to remove itself when we're done, okay? All right. Thank you. Have a nice night. So if we didn't have this support software, we were going to have to create a, a, a problem ticket in our ticketing system, which would wind up eventually having someone to go look at the desktop in person, which takes a lot of time. Um, in our jobs, we try, to, we try to optimize our time as much as we can. So using having this remote support software really, really helped. So in conclusion, you can tell that we use BombGuard to go ahead and help someone remotely. Um, you can tell that this solution really increases our timeliness when we're actually helping people, um, it gets things fixed faster. In an enterprise level environment, that's a lot, that's a big thing. Um, when you get into systems where you have a lot of tickets, a lot, a whole like queue of tickets waiting for you, the faster that you can get those done, the better. That's, um, that's, the, main, that's the main issue that we deal with is timeliness. Um, it also you, it helped us avoid a trip to the users. So if, let's say if they're located, not here in Canyon, let's say they're located somewhere far away, um, you can actually help them without having potentially having them mail their computer to you or stuff like that, you know. Anyway, well, I really appreciate y'all's time. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or shoot me an email. And um, you have a great evening. Thanks. Bye-bye.